I feel like I should make this video because it might help someone. So VXX is an ETF and it tracks volatility. So what is volatility? So there's this thing called the VIX index and that's the measure of volatility. So in order to participate in the growth or decline of the VIX index, um, different instruments are created. So one instrument is uh, called the futures contract. So there are futures contracts you can buy and sell uh, and they're for different months, they expire in different months, and uh, they basically converge to the VIX index. It's really cool. Uh, like they literally converge, mathematically converge. In any case, um, VXX, uh, its pricing is computed using uh, two of those contracts. And I'm pretty sure you can fact check me on this. Um, when that is done, that creates uh, a certain type of decay that is reflected in the price of VXX. In other words, this has natural built-in decay. So it's going to go down. Now it does go up sometimes. Um, for example, this is uh, a six month chart here on stockcharts.com. You can see it's gone down quite a bit. If we go to Yahoo Finance, we can see the three year daily total returns negative, one year is negative, and that's negative. I used to buy VXX back in the day when I didn't know anything. And I was like, why do I keep losing money? Uh, well, yeah, because it goes down, right? So that's something that um, you don't want to do. I've been trading for a long time, about 15 years. And some people do buy VXS. You can, you can, and we do what you want. You can see, wow, today it was down 4.88%. So yeah, volatility really, really died today. Just a big, big drop, right? So you might say, if it always goes down, can't you short it? You can, but there are interest fees for shorting. Uh, but honestly, this goes down way more, and that probably covers them. I think the big risk is when it goes up, uh, that can hurt. You see, so it does spike up sometimes. If you look at a five-year chart, you can see here. Um, March 120, March 1, 2020, it was up, uh, it was $740. And over here it was 259.20. So yeah, pretty nuts, pretty nuts. So VXX, uh, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to buy it typically because it goes down. So it does have built-in decay. That's what you should know. And I think there are other um, instruments like this. It's an ETN actually, not an ETF, an ETN that are like this, that have uh, some type of uh, decay built in. Uh, but it's cool that this exists. It's, it's, it's really hard to trade the VIX index. You have to understand that. You can't trade it directly. And so this is one way to do that. Another way uh, is to trade options uh, on VXX or on the VIX. And then you also have the VIX futures. Those are the different ways that you can trade uh, volatility. Which one's the best way? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a good answer for that. Um, they all have, um, they're, they're all gonna have some level of risk. Investing always involves risk. So just be careful and make your own decisions, right? Anyways, just wanted to make this video. Good luck.